Okay, now that we have our illumination, the next stage is to start editing materials. So I'm gonna click here on my scene to bring all the furniture, all the layers on, and I'm gonna change to this shaded with textures mode so you can see all the textures that I applied in SketchUp. This is this has nothing to do with V-Ray, this is part of the SketchUp modeling and I'm gonna give you like a little tour uh, through the materials. First of all I have this floor, uh, as I told you at the beginning I modeled it so this is just a simple color and we're probably just going to add a reflection layer to it. This is one of the preset woods, uh, this material I downloaded it uh, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you where I where I downloaded the, all the materials, and this texture too. I googled it. Uh, I mean, didn't map it well, but it doesn't matter because in the end, my scene, uh, well, my camera does not uh, picture it. Uh, this uh, where am I? Okay, this. Uh, metal columns are just simple colors and all of these are simple colors too because what I'm going to do I'm going to import uh, a metal uh, a preset metal to them okay this is again a simple color a translucent glass gray from a sketchup uh, an image that I downloaded from the web and this furniture uh, has this uh, textile uh, map that a friend of mine uh, David Reyes uh, uses a lot so he passed it to me and this uh, little uh, uh, sun beds I I actually forgot about them in the render <laughs> so they have like the default material but they look pretty fine and I believe I will leave them like that these I downloaded I downloaded them from the web and I completed them because uh, these faces were not uh, complete and I don't like the way they look okay so we're going to go to my scene again look look at this this is a fast render uh, sometimes we have to save our time uh, lots of people say that it is not worth it to uh, look for so much realism uh, as architects for example but uh, an nice image actually sells uh, ideas and uh, people get uh, really excited uh, with the designs like like this, so uh, at least uh, edit everything that appears in your scene. In this case, well, the missing part of the painting, uh, I don't care. I don't care about it, uh, and the part of the furniture that I didn't edit, uh, I don't care about it either. Or actually, uh, this table, I didn't finish it either, and I won't. I just wanted to tell you, uh, you have to be careful at the time of applying uh, materials in SketchUp. In this case I applied this uh, wood map here and I had to rotate it so it could look uh, well realistic. So where do we get these uh, maps from before we start? Uh, there's a site that I actually just uh, discovered. <laughs> I had seen it uh, so many times but uh, I didn't know that these were for free, so <laughs> I had not used them. Well, the truth is that you can download uh, one by one until you have all of them. Uh, but if you really uh, do this for a living, if you really want to achieve a great uh, degree of realism, well, I would recommend you to buy them. Uh, they're not so expensive, and these are like perfect uh, textures. They have all the maps, and they don't. Uh, the tiling does not repeat. I don't know which wood I downloaded. I'm just showing you uh, how to get them. I just get into this uh, address and select the texture that you want. Of course, the the version that they let you download for free is not completed, so uh, you will probably have to be careful with the map. But uh, again, uh, the textures are great, and they come with all of their maps like bump, reflectivity, and uh, of this and they also tell you uh, what percentage to use uh, in order to make these textures look uh, as the previous so I downloaded a, a texture from here and I applied it and this other texture well I was not so sure about telling you guys this because um, of obvious reasons 
Before I used, uh, I started using V-Ray for SketchUp, I used to use this other software. Uh, the truth is that it's a great software. Uh, it achieves a lot of realism, but it's really uh, harder to understand and it takes uh, plenty of hours of rendering. I made this render in like half an hour and renders with this software were like 8 hours, 16 hours and they achieve uh, terrific results but you have to get really into it so uh, well that's why I don't use it but it's a great software and I just don't wanna uh, talk if I don't know what I do I get here into the into their library so I have my account yet I, ha I still have my account uh, I'm sorry And the thing with this site is that they have a lot of, of materials and they also come with, with maps. This is like some kind of Google warehouse but for materials and it's terrific. Look for example, I'm gonna look for bricks. And as you can see, well, I'm uploading the video actually so that's why my internet is so slow. Uh, well, they have uh, plenty of bricks and they are already mapped they come also with their uh, maps, with their mob bump maps, uh, reflection maps, all of them, uh, displacement maps. Uh, actually, I just uh, recommended a friend of mine uh, this texture sand for a project of him, and the result was terrific. I mean, this comes with with its uh, displacement map, so I would recommend you to use it.